Hi, I'm Joey Lott, creator of Peaceful Possibility Training, and I teach people how to connect with the power within themselves that allows them to live lives of peace and freedom. And the question is, what is it that causes OCD? And it's a very fascinating question, and I'm sure that if we asked 100 different experts, we'd get about 100 different answers. So I like to ask a slightly different question that I believe is much more in alignment with the biological underpinnings of the experience of OCD. And that question is this, what is it that maintains the condition? And like I said, that is much more in alignment with the biological underpinnings of the experience. Now what do I mean by that? Well, we humans are designed to repeat. We create repetition throughout our lives, and this is a very effective strategy that we employ. This has allowed us to survive as a species, to thrive as a species. So let me give you an example, an extreme example. Let's say I'm walking along beside a mountain, and all of a sudden some rocks start, start sliding down the mountain. Now I become fearful and I run. I survive this situation, thankfully. Whew. All right. Now, without me having to do anything or think about it or try anything, I am automatically going to file that information away and couple the memory of the, of the landslide with the emotional response and the strategy that I employed in order to survive, or at least as far as I can tell that I, that I used to survive. Now, it could have been, of course, that I would have survived had I done nothing. But as far as we know, whatever we did allowed us to survive. So we file that away. And then anytime that we encounter anything that even remotely reminds us of that experience, it doesn't necessarily have to be a rock slide. It could be anything that reminds us of that. Then that may provoke the same emotional response and a compulsion to you to utilize that strategy that we believe allowed us to survive. So that is a very effective survival strategy that we have employed uh, as a species. But I don't have to tell you, for those of us who have, have lived with OCD, we all know that it's a deeply, deeply painful experience. But the good news is that it's the same mechanism and therefore we can use the same approach in dealing with OCD that we use in dealing with traumatic memories. And the most effective strategies that are coming out of the research across the globe for dealing with traumatic memories is to stop reinforcing the old habit. So what do I mean by that? Well, as I said, when, that, uh, when something triggers that emotional response in us, then when we engage in the same strategy, the same behavior, we reinforce that habit so that again it gets filed away as effective, an effective strategy. So that again, when we encounter something that triggers it, we'll then feel compelled to do that thing and then it will get filed away as being effective. So the research has demonstrated that it is enormously effective to completely transform the experience of traumatic memory by simply consciously putting into place a different response whenever the uh, emotional component and the compulsion arise within the person. And the more often that a person does that, then the more that that new habit becomes reinforced. So instead of the habit of stress, we begin to put into, into place a habit of peace. And this, we can see, is actually basically what's being done in the two leading therapeutic approaches to addressing OCD, ERP and ACT. Both fundamentally use this, whether those who are the practitioners are aware of this research or not. This is essentially what is being done, is preventing the old habit so that we don't reinforce that habit and instead we put into place and strengthen a new habit of peace. And as we do this, in pretty short order, then a new life of freedom opens up.